Hi, uh, I am Michelle Rizvi, coordinator of Project Ease at Empower People, funded by L'Oreal Fund for Women. Through Project Ease, we are making a real impact by providing alternative education to adolescents, especially in vulnerable community in Dubri district of Assam. We have started a coaching center named as Icon Academy where the adolescent girl gets supplementary free coaching of subjects like English, Maths and Science. We focus on promoting STEM education and challenging the patriarchal structure which not only limits uh, young girls opportunity as well as ability because career has no gender so girls need to be including in STEM education it's what we believe through Project Ease and it empower people. By engaging girls in games traditionally dominated by male members of the society, we encourage them to claim on public space, just like male used to do. Project E is also emphasized on health, education, healing and resilience because these are also most important component of building a brighter future. Seeing large number of women who was trafficked in the name of marriage, abandoned by their buyers during the time of COVID-19, somehow managed to come back to their native place. The vulnerability of these returnees were attached because of the rejection they have faced from their society and the lack of acceptance they have seen from their siblings and their parents. Uh, Project Ease works to provide relief to their returnees. Uh, by helping them, giving them assistance such as medical support, uh, livelihood support, educational support, family and crisis counselling and legal help. My name is Mehenara Khatun. I am Dhuburi district of Assam. I have been working with Empowered People for the past three years as a mobilizer. I want to share the story of Sunita. After returning home following her trafficking ordeal, Sunita was severely ill. During one of our meetings, she fainted. We immediately informed her family and rushed her to the hospital, where several tests were conducted. She was diagnosed with tuberculosis and subsequently transferred to the TB cell. Unfortunately, Sunita left home before completing her medication. She fainted again and her mother informed me about it. I took Sunita to Bilasipara Hospital where the doctor referred her to Dhubri Hospital. Empower people provided significant support during this critical time. Her family abandoned her due to her deteriorating health. One day Sunita was unconscious after receiving an injection. The doctor prescribed that she needs regular care and nutritious food. We provided her all the necessity and care for six months. Sunita has now recovered and is doing well. She is profoundly grateful to L'Oreal Fund for Women for the support provided during her time of need. And she is also helping other women as well. <laughs> I was in love with a boy who promised to marry me and take me to Siliguri. However, he betrayed me and handed me over to another man. When I asked this man where he was taking me, he told me that I had been sold to him. He then tried to kill me and tortured me, but I managed to escape. While fleeing, I met another man and asked for a mobile phone. I explained my situation to him and he helped me contact my family. They alerted the police and I was rescued. Initially, I was afraid to interact with others. However, when Empower People arrived in our village, I joined the girls' club they established and was re-enrolled in school in the ninth grade. Empower People has supported my education by providing books, notebooks and other necessary supplies. They have also given me the confidence to connect with others. In the year 2022, Project Ease has served 1,682 women. In the year 2023, Project Ease has served 1,232 women. 120 women came out from poverty through Project Ease in year 2022 and 232 women and girls came out from poverty in the year 2023. In the year 2022, 298 women received emergency support and 180 women and girls received emergency support in 2023. In the year 2022, 
103 women joined the path of professional integration and in the year 2023 157 women have joined the same path in 2022 653 girl had access to education through project ease and in 2023 271 girl get access to education to make the sustainable impact of this project project ease also work to create a conducive environment by involving various stakeholder like dlsa health department local government and community at large are you ready to transform lives and champion women's rights join us in supporting empower people in assam hello my name is noor yasminara begum I come from Dubri district in Assam. For the past 3 years I have had the privilege of working with an incredible organization called Empower People. Empower People is more than just an organization. It's a lifeline for women facing countless challenges. Through educational programs and vocational training, we help women gain essential skills. Skills that open doors to employment and economic independence. But it doesn't stop there. We also provide healthcare services, legal aid and counseling. These services help women navigate personal and social issues with strength and resilience. By creating safe spaces and offering guidance, we empower them to overcome obstacles and improve their quality of life. Just think about it. A woman who once felt powerless now stands tall, confident, and independent. This is the impact of Empower People. So let's come together and support this vital work. Let's unite for women's rights and gender equality. We have the power to bring about change. and we must do so thank you for your support together we can create a brighter more equitable future for all women we are creating girls club and mothers club in various villages the purpose behind creating the girls club was to provide the returnees a space where they can find the environment where they feel heard they feel supported they feel connected and they can share whatever they are feeling without the fear of being judged not only that through the girls club they can find individual who had gone through the same experiences the same challenges but somehow they have overcome the challenges these individual work as a role model for these returnees and provide practical advices inspiration this will help them in their mental well being apart from that for the overall well being this will help the returnees in their integration in the mainstream society tomar kahini dol pangir khon ase One day while I was walking home from school in the rain a stranger approached me and offered me a ride in his car saying he would drop me off at my place Hey there you look soaked need a ride I can drop you off at your place I accepted and he offered me water which caused me to faint When I regained consciousness I found myself with another man I asked him where he was taking me and where I was You have been sold to me for 300,000 rupees. I was kept there for 3 months and endured severe torture. Eventually, I managed to escape to the nearest police station. Don't worry, you're safe now. We'll contact your family immediately. The police contacted my family and I was safely returned home. From when are you connected with Empower People? I have been connected with Empower People for the past 2 years. How are you related to Empower People and its meetings? I am a member of the Girls Club. What benefits did you get after connecting with Empower People? I was a school dropout, but Empower People helped me re-enroll in school so I could continue my studies. What do you see in the future of Empower People? I hope that what happened to me does not happen to any other girl, and I want to see an end to such situations. Tamane eta thai ka ki bhalo hoy ki na besa ki nibond hoy idai and the purpose behind creating the mothers club was building a support system for the survivor and their families mother club provide emotional support system as well as a practical support system for the returnees in their journey of reintegration many survivor may be a mother themselves need a support where they can raise their children in a safe environment mothers club help providing a safe support and a safe environment so that the survivor can raise their children apart from that mothers club also encourage the returnees to uh, take leadership role and foster a sense of purpose and agency the project also connects survivor through livelihood opportunity by providing them training and resources we empower survivor by providing them with essential skill our initiative involve led bulb training we offer hands in training to the survivor in production and assembly of energy sufficient led bulb 
Apart from that, through our workshop which focus on designing and crafting, we teach survivor how to transform water plant into beautiful wall hanging and create bamboo bags. We empower survivor to tap their creativity while also earning marketing skill. The commune serve the survivor a nurturing environment where they can learn, collaborate and support one another in their journey of recovery and empowerment. By making change in countless life, thank you L'Oreal for your continuous support and your dedication of making a difference in these vulnerable women's lives, for making them rebuild their lives, reclaiming their agency, finding their voice and support. Thank you so much. <coughs>